Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about what they're thinking, feeling about you, how they view you or this connection, and what do they wish they could tell you? What are their intentions towards you? We'll look at all of that today for Virgo. What do we need to know, Spirit, regarding this person that Virgo is thinking about or connecting with? What do we need to know about their energies towards Virgo? I feel like someone wants to come over. I feel like someone wants to come over. Six of Swords. Okay, let's see. How does this person view Virgo or this connection at this time spirit? How does this person... Four of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Yes, it's like someone wants to come over to talk. Knight of Swords. Like they, they want to come over to someone's house. There's the Four of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Yeah, Queen of Wands. This person's drawn to you. They want to talk to you. But at the same time, I feel like someone's been holding back. I don't know why. I'm recovering from a cold. So if you hear kind of like me sniffling and stuff, I apologize in advance. What are they thinking, feeling? What are they thinking, feeling about Virgo? What are they thinking, feeling when it comes to Virgo? What are they thinking, feeling, spirit, about Virgo? The Hierophant, Taurus Energy, Two of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. I feel like this person, there's the um, Temperance card at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person has battled themselves to like stay quiet. It's like, I, I can't really do what I want to do. I want to talk to Virgo, but instead I'm quiet. There's something here with like availability. There's an issue here with availability. Someone might not be available. And it's like they're admiring you from afar. I feel like this is someone that um, knows that they can't play games with you, Virgo. Like you are, it's like this energy of you being too good for that. Like you're not going to take any crap from anybody. Um, and this person knows it. I think that's also partly the reason why they've kept quiet. What do we need to know about this person's energy? Overall energy towards Virgo. What do we need to know about this person's overall energy? towards Virgo. What do we need to know? Yeah. Secret admirer, falling leaves. This is someone that's admiring you from afar secretly. And this reading always comes up for Virgos. Um, falling leaves, changes, transition time. Time changes everything. I feel like time has happened here in this connection. Like a lot of time has happened since you last talked or interacted. I feel like this person battles themselves. Tell me about this Two of Swords. Tell me, tell me, Spirit, about this Two of Swords, please. Why, why is the Two of Swords here? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Should I do that? Is that going to be successful? Is there going to be a good outcome? If I do speak up, what will happen next? There's a Queen of Swords. Yeah. What will happen after I talk to Virgo? Is this a good idea? It's like they talk themselves back. This could also be your energy, Virgo. What are their intentions towards Virgo at this time? What are their intentions? Six of Pentacles, to give and receive, to balance out. Again, there's like that pendulum swing. What are their intentions towards Virgo? Death, Scorpio energy. Something happened. Something already ended here. Star at the bottom, the star at the bottom of the deck in the world. Exactly. Aquarius energy there. It's like someone's hoping to heal this that has already ended so that they can have a new beginning here. Tell me about death. I feel like their intention, their main intention is to address this ending. Whatever ended or changed here, they want to address it. Okay, Queen of Cups. 
And then there's the devil, Capricorn energy. So I feel like someone is very interested in you, Virgo, but they should not be. It's like their focus should be elsewhere. They should not be admiring you in secret from afar. They should be dealing with whatever it is that they have gotten themselves into. There's like a layer of like obsession here or like lust. Like someone can't seem to let you go, but they should have already let you go a long time ago. That's the energy I'm picking up here. And it's like, it's because they still have feelings for you, Queen of Cups. It's because even though something ended, there's still feelings here. And I keep getting this energy for like several signs. It keeps coming up. I don't know if there's something happening astrologically, but it keeps coming up. Let me get a never after. What else do we need to know about this person's energy towards Virgo? What else do we need to know? About this person's energies towards Virgo spirit. What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Virgo? The wizard, powerful, resourceful creator, like the magician. Do they want to make something happen? Bottom of the deck, enchantment, spellbound, captivated, delighted. Yes, they are captivated by you. It's like they their mind always wanders back to you. You have a hold on this person. And I feel like every time they think about you, they think about what they wish they could do. I wish I could take charge here because they're fighting themselves. This person's fighting themselves constantly. What do they wish they could tell Virgo at this time? What do they wish they could tell Virgo spirit? I'm getting like, where do I start? <laughs> What do they wish they could tell Virgo at this time? What does this person wish they could tell Virgo? What does this person wish they could tell Virgo? Five of Wands. What does this person, what does this person wish they could tell Virgo? What do they wish they could tell Virgo? What do they wish they could tell Virgo? Hmm. Can I get one more? What do they wish they could tell Virgo at this time? Okay. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Justice showed up. Libra energy there. I think it's fascinating that they want to tell you about an issue or a conflict, a problem. It's almost like they want to tell you they're going through a difficult situation or they want to tell you that things are not working out or that there's like arguments, drama, conflict that they're experiencing. They want to tell you this because on the outside, things look pretty. Or maybe this has to do with career, finances, family. They want to be honest with you about something. Tell me about the justice card. Ten of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they're burdened by something. And while they're burdened and weighed down, they're looking at you. I feel like this little pentacle that this page is looking at is you. When t when t when the, the going gets rough for this person, they come back to you. What's Virgo up to? I wonder what my life would have been like if I was with Virgo, if I had listened to Virgo, if I had done something or other. Yeah. There's the hangman. They're not doing anything about it, but they're thinking about you. It's very clear energy. Something's going on in this person's life. Remember when I saw the devil and I started talking about how this person should be focused on something else? They should be focused on whatever this is. I don't think this is an issue specifically with you. I think that they're way down by something right now in their personal life. And they should be focused there. They should not be looking over to see what you're up to. Tell us more, Spirit. What does this person wish they could tell Virgo at this time? What do they wish they could tell Virgo at this time? What do they wish they could tell Virgo at this time? 
committed to you. I can't see myself with anyone else but you. Yeah, you're the only one for them. They're committed to you when they should be <laughs> doing something else. They're committed to you despite the fact that I think there's someone else here. I feel like this person should be dealing with their own situation and they're not. They're like looking over here. Despite the time that has happened between like between you and this connection, like what if, if it ended badly or if it just was some like a fling or if it just didn't really go anywhere and there was a separation, I feel like enough time has passed for there to be kind of like you're in two different worlds right now. But this person cannot resist checking in on you, thinking about you. They can't resist this connection. They can't resist you. Yeah, taking charge. This person wants to do something about what they're thinking or feeling. We have known each other before is at the bottom of the deck. They want to do something. Um, and that's why the wizard is here. That's why the knight of swords is here. They, they, they're fighting themselves because I don't think, I think this person is like, they should not be taking charge towards you. Let me know if that's <clears throat> resonating in the comments. Tell me about this taking charge energy. Why is taking charge here? Why is taking, yeah, seven of cups. What should I do? Like they don't, they know they want to do something. They just don't know what. And I feel like that every time that it's time to like do something, they stop themselves. Yeah, there's the three of wands. Exactly. It's like, no, I should wait. I don't think that's the right idea. Maybe I should wait for Virgo to contact me instead. Because I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't know how this would end up. That's, that's the problem here. That this person can't resist you, but at the same time, they can't make a move towards you at this time. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Hopefully it resonated for you. If it did, don't forget to hit that like button. Feel free to share with me if it resonated with you in the comments. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.